Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to today's webinar on deliberating the success pathway with the LPU achievers. We are delighted to have you join us this afternoon. This session is designed to provide you with the valuable insights into our university's placement success stories and how LPU prepare the students for a bright future. In this webinar, you will hear from our esteemed LPU staff and listen to the perspective from our two outstanding students who have secured impressive placements. If you have any question at any point, please feel free to type them into the chat box. We will address as many questions as possible in the end of the webinar. We encourage you to take this opportunity to get as your queries answered and gain more clarity from this session. So uh, with this, so in this session, I would like to in, uh, introduce Dr. Harpal Thetty. Dr. Harpal Thetty, professor, he's a professor and a senior director, corporate relation and career planning. With the help, I think we've lost you. You're there? Uh, yes, sorry, sir. There was a technical glitch. Uh, I would like to again start this. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce our esteemed speaker for today's webinar, Dr. Harpal Thetty. Dr. Harpal Thetty is a professor and a senior director heading the Division of Career Services at Lovely Professional University. With an impressive educational background and extensive experience, he has been an instrumental in create, uh, creating strong connections between the university and uh, the corporate world. Under his leadership, LPU has seen remarkable success in student placement and helping many graduates secure excellent career opportunities. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Harpal Thetty. Hey, thank you so much, Tarunam, for this quick introduction. Uh, let me first welcome each one of you, whomsoever is uh, listening to this conversation uh, coming to you from the vibrant campus of lovely professional university. I've always been saying that career making is a very critical choice for any student to make. And um, since you are students in this choice of uh, which course and which university you will go subsequently, your parents are also very much involved. So hence, uh, at this point in time, I would like to welcome all the parents who are listening to this conversation, all the students who are listening to this conversation, such that no, we can tell you some of the stories which we have done for a lot of our students who have graduated from this temple of learning. As Tarannum said, so I, I run the division of career services um, at lovely professional university and we are a central division cutting through all the courses inside the university and then we try and find out great opportunities for our students who work in the corporate world. That's our job. The, there are three kind of people who report into me and organogram wise, then I report into the private pro chancellor, ma'am, and to chancellor, sir. Uh, the first set of people who report into me are the people who will be the first point of contact for, for putting up the licensing between the university and the corporate world. We call this team to be as corporate outreach cell. So they're the first component of my team. Think them to be as the first flag bearers who are going to talk about the university and the set of students whom we are going to pitch to the corporate world. The second set of people are the people who will make me data intelligent. So they are the people who will actually man our data. They will do all the audits. Let me tell you that all the offers which we generate for a current year are getting audited. And once they are audited, then only they are given to all the agencies which would uh, require this kind of data. So the second set of people who will make me data intelligent, data sanitization, data presentation, representation, they are my data team. The third set of team is a special team which is carved at LPU. Let me tell you how the process works at LPU and then you will understand what this team does. So we have kind of democratized the entire process of, of putting up the 
success stories for our students. So the first document which which a COC will get is called to be as a JD. A JD will talk about the job description format. It will talk about the kind of role which the company is offering. It will talk about the opportunity in which part of India, in which part of the world this, that opportunity is, what kind of growth opportunities are associated with that. So that document is populated inside the university. Then we call for the nominations. Since I said that we have kind of democratized the entire process. Once the nominations are done, we set the uh, MIS or the populated uh, data back to the company. Then the company will do the entire drive. After the drive has been done, the results will be updated. After the results have been updated, uh, we'll look for the offer letters. After the offer letters has been generated, we'll audit the offer letters and we'll tell the students that, hey, this is where you have to go and join the company. So the entire process of regenerating the JD and then subsequently auditing and then helping the students to uh, go and join the company, that is taken care by, by the third component of my team, which is the backend team. Correct. So this is what we have been doing and uh, we have done success for thousands and thousands of students who have graduated from this great temple of learning, uh, the vibrant campus of LPU. And uh, we would like to emulate the same kind of success with each one of you whomsoever is listening to this conversation today. And, and I'm sure, uh, and I'm very confident that uh, we'll be able to do this. To do that, what we thought that uh, we can show a lot of data to you and we can talk about the kind of processes which we follow, the kind of roles we are bringing for the company, the kind of companies which are bringing here for the students to graduate to and then work to. Uh, we thought that we should also be able to showcase some of the recent successes which we have done. Uh, that's how we will bring in Yashwant, who has a great swanky offer with with a, the, with a great company called as JustPay. Uh, so he will join us from Bangalore. And then I'll have Sweetie. So she's a graduate of our fashion vertical here and she works for Trident. But before I do that, let me tell you uh, some of the milestones which we have kind of achieved and which we are really, really proud of. And 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 let me give you these numbers. So of late, very recently, we have got uh, 10 placements at the package of 50 lakh rupees. Now, let me tell you what we do internally. We have kind of benchmarked the companies and the kind of roles which are coming to us in terms of the in terms of the CTC they're offering. CTC would stand for a cost to company. A cost to company is basically the total cost which a company will pay to you in terms of fix, in terms of floating, in terms of ESOPs and everything put together. So we have kind of benchmarked ourselves between anything between three to five, anything which is less than three lakh, we don't allow inside the campus to come and do the campus. So three to five lakh is one benchmark, five to seven is another benchmark, seven to 10 is another benchmark. Anything which is between 10 lakhs, 20 lakh rupees is another benchmark, 20 lakh to 30 lakh is another benchmark, 30 to 40 is another, 40 to 50 is another, and 50 above is another. So um, I'm very proud to share that uh, 10 of our students have recently been able to crack a package of 50 lakh rupees and above, 25 per, uh, students, unique students I'm talking here, have got offers of 40 to 50 lakh rupees, 30 plus students have got it between 30 to 40, 100 plus between 20 to uh, 30 and 1200 plus between uh, 10 to 20 lakh rupees. So, uh, and then everything put together, 20,000 plus offers is uh, uh, of more than 10 lakh rupees is what we have kind of generated for our students, uh, which helped us to achieve a uh, uh, average CTC of 12.3 lakh rupees for our top 10% students, um, 10 lakh rupees for our 25% uh, uh, percent students, 8 lakh for 50% students. And overall, if I'm talking about the university, we are today standing at a package of 6.25. That is what we have done. And we keep on sharing these kind of data with all the accreditation agencies as well. Yeah, Tarnum, if you can go to the next one, please. Yep, I'm really, really proud of all the logos which you can see here. We are placed at block number 32. So my entire team sits in block number 32. And that is where we have actually put up a wall. And we call this to be as wall of fame, where we try and put all the logos with which we work. Apparently, I've not told you this. So we work to close to about 2,100 companies in one academic year for all the students who are graduating from our courses. Which means that if you take out the gadgeted holidays and Saturdays and Sundays, Every single day in this vibrant campus, we'll do close to about seven companies. The seven companies doing the complete offer is what we do. So we put some of the logos which we feel that will make a lot of meaning to you relating to it. So you can see, you can see the best of the logos here. You can see Federal Bank here. You can see Service Now. You can see Amazon. You can see Cognizant, Capgemini, IBM, Accenture. All of them actually work along with us. So we, uh, this is a very exhaustive you know, wall which we keep updating. And this wall is actually physically placed at block number 30. I'm going to give you a glimpse of that as well. Uh, 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 towards the end of this deck, you can see that we have placed a, a hashtag there. We have, we have, we have said that place hashtag and lots of students get themselves clicked there. 
So the idea uh, is that whatever company you're already thinking, we have been working along with them. We have been working along with a lot of legacy companies. We have been working with Swanky, the companies who have been doing businesses across different con continents. We have been working around across with Swanky startups as well. Um, apparently, uh, 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 apparently, Ashwant will talk about just pay and his journey. So it's basically you can think that to be as a startup which has done really, really good for themselves and for the and for the entire ecosystem. Uh, so these are the kind of companies we work. Uh, Taranam, if you can go for the next one, please. The idea basically is that um, we should be able to bring the best of the companies, one, and then we should be able to prepare you right from the first year itself. So what we start doing is that right from the first year itself, we start doing a lot of intervention to users that we understand what are your aspirations and where you are standing or what are your aspirations and where you are standing. That's how we give a curated learning to each one of you. So this curated learning talks about your story becoming more stronger so that we are able to take your story to the uh, hiring partner. So that's what we have been doing. So we try and work along on a peer uh, assessment as well, where we uh, actually do the benchmarking right from the first year. We talk about a lot of English language. We talk a lot about uh, soft skills. We talk about how your body communicates without communicating anything. So these kind of intervention will be given to you right from the first year itself. So there'll be different benchmarks. And depending upon the benchmarks, we'll we'll club the students there, and then that kind of an input start giving. We start giving that kind of input to our students. That is what we have been doing. A lot of these interventions will be credited, but a lot of these interventions will be non-credited as well. Which means that we want you to work beyond five pm as well. I mean, depending upon nine to five or eight to four sl a slot, whatever you are uh, working for the university. Beyond that, we have got hordes and hordes of student clubs, and these uh, students clubs have not come haphazardly. We have actually thought through this as to what kind of club we should uh, talk about. So there are six pathways which we which we say uh, a student should get a career to. And hence, the name of the division is Division of Career Services, not training and placement. Because career is a very, very holistic term. And we want to actually develop you and, uh, and make your finished products as that you, know, you can make a great career for yourself, for your parents, for the alma mater. And we'll be all happy taking your story to the larger world as well. That's how we have named this division to be a Division of Career Services. We always say to our students that it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Don't think this to be a sprint. The entire process is going to test you n number of times. The idea is that the ecosystem should give you that much of a fate to come back whenever you fall. So that is what we have been doing. Before every company comes in, we run a series which is called to be as Know Your Company. A Know Your Company will talk about the company, we'll talk about the leadership of the company, we'll talk about the revenue of the company, we'll talk about where the company is coming from, we'll talk about the roles which the company is hiring from, uh, we'll talk about the, what kind of what kind of growth opportunities are there? So this kind of an input is given to the uh, students as that students are very much aware as to what kind of a company is coming. Uh, we will have we will um, always ensure our students to compete among the best of the talent coming from just about all the parts of the world. That's how we uh, talk all our students and we promote also all our students to participate very very actively on hackathons, makeathons, pitchathons, beat whatever it is. We want our students to be very much there. Apart from that, we have been working along with the companies in terms of our curriculum development because one of the days when uh, you will talk of a curriculum which is of yesterday, still think and be relevant today and see what is the future looking like. So our curriculum, unlike any other place, is very, very up to the date and we keep on updating this input depending upon the kind of input we get from the corporate world. Uh, we also have faculty ambassadors and campus, uh, campus ambassador for, for students where uh, they become the they become the torch bearer of the students inside the campus we will curate there's hardly a day when we will not do a guest lecture or a, or a leader coming in to help you and talking about what kind of opportunity they have um, everywhere else uh, we also try and see if we can take our students to industrial visits one great thing which we do as a university even before the NEP talked about this is that we do a one-year internship program and I'll bring Yashwant to talk a little bit more about it as to what one-year program was what was his learning and what kind of things he achieved by doing this one year internship program, which helped him to get a full time of opportunity with, uh, with, with uh, uh, just pay at a package of 27 lakh rupees. Uh, we do a lot of industry tie ups, a lot of co branding courses. We work very, um, uh, very aggressively in making an individualistic resume for you. Your resume cannot be a cut, copy, paste of somebody who has tasted success somewhere else. So we want your stories, your data set to be in that resume. That's how we have a very um, individualistic kind of uh, resume for all of us students. We have a complete team which talks about how to make resume and how to go about presenting your case when you are sitting in front of the corporate world. We also talk about how you should maintain a very healthy digital footprint because that's very, very critical. So we talk about what you should write on LinkedIn, what you should not write, what kind of comments you should do. So we'll make you uh, intelligent that way as well. Tarunam, if you can go to the next one, please. 
So these are some of the success stories. So power one crore package, keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Yeah. Uh, Yashashvi, Microsoft, 52 lakh repairs. Service now, 42.75 lakh repairs. Uh, ordered as unheard in this country, architecture student getting a package of 31.6 lakh repairs. Uh, leading robotic companies, which I cannot name, but a package of 54.90 lakh repairs. Yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Keep it rolling. JTP basically is a Japan third party, which is an international offer for our BCA student uh, getting an offer in Japan. And depending upon the yen conversion, it is anywhere between 24 to 29 lakh rupees. So he's a three-year grad. Intuit, another great company, 42, uh, 44.92. Amazon, you will see hordes of Amazons now. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Let's make it fast now. Yeah. Trident, uh, you you could see Sweetie must be there somewhere, if I'm not wrong. But then we have actually kind of pushed it. Xperi is again a great company to start with. Rippling, you can see 12.05. Watfix at a uh, package of 11 lakh rupees. BNY Mellon. Uh, 10.02, Aroha, 21.77, Alrakha is an international placement, Adani Valmer, uh, Valmer is very much here, Necklife, um, again BNY Mellon from a different set of students. Uh, this was the wall which I was talking about and this is the hashtag uh, which talks about uh, you getting plays and talking about the kind of offer which you have generated for yourself. That was my short, crisp, uh, elevated pitch for all of you and that is what we have been doing. Now, I, I, I thought that... Um, uh, I presenting one thing is one uh, one bit of it. But then what if I bring the stars uh, who can talk about their journey as well? So that's all. Uh, let us first welcome uh, Yashwant uh, with wholeheartedness and then with uh, uh, Sweetie. So Yashwant is a B.Tech computer science student who graduated this year and got an offer for uh, 27 lakh rupees at Just Pay. And uh, Sweetie got an offer of 12 lakh rupees, if I'm not wrong, Sweetie. And at Trident. So she's sitting very nearby to us. She's sitting, she's joining us today from uh, Ludhiana. And Yashwan joins us uh, from Bangalore. So Yashwan, let me bring you in here. So if you can just unlock both of you, if you can unlock your mics now. Yeah. Hello, sir. Good evening. So all welcome, Bita. Uh, I'm, I'm really thankful to both of you that you have taken time to talk to us and uh, share your journey with us. So I one question which I'm putting to both of you is, Talk us a little bit more about your families. Talk us why and what promoted you to choose to do a course at LPU. And uh, yeah, first these two questions and then we'll take it ahead from here. So talk us a little bit more about your families, uh, your upbringing, where you're coming from and uh, why and what made you choose LPU. Yeah. Any order? So, yeah. So good evening. Good evening all. This is Yashwant. I'm from Andhra Pradesh, my native. So I come from a family where uh, my father is a farmer and my mother is a housewife. And I got inspired from my uncle who is a software engineer. He has been uh, has been doing this job of software engineering where he develops this uh, technology. And I'm really interested, since my childhood, I'm really interested in this technology. I'm really closer. I was really, I've been closer to the technology. I'm, this interest made me took up this course of engineering. And I'm firstly, I'm very thankful to my parents for supporting and respecting my decision of joining LPU. As I said, I'm from Andhra Pradesh and LPU, you can see it's in Punjab. So I have also heard comments saying like, why don't you join uh, somewhere near your hometown? So it'll be closer. But the decision that I took, I'm really confident about, I'm really confident on myself. Like, um, first, I'm really attracted to, uh, to the architecture, architecture of LPU. This, uh, and, exposure to the international standards and the culture culture they promote this coding see uh, as, a, as, I told, as I mentioned I am really closer to technology it means uh, how to choose something related to tech field which is computer science and engineering and I have gone through many many reviews and uh, I have also uh, reached many of my seniors and asked the review about the college and really felt supportive they promote the the way they explained about the culture and and the way they, uh, whatever they explain, I just saw it. I just experienced it. And this is, um, I'm, yeah. Now you can see I made it. Uh, I got a package of 27 CTs. I got placed in JustPay, which is through campus placements of LPU. And I have also uh, gone through the PEP classes placement enhancement program of Lowly Professional University, which they provide. And it really helped me play, get placed in this company, JustPay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this out. I'm really happy that you could actually cherish your long-term dream of being a technologist, and then we were able to help you with uh, yes. this dream of yours. Sweetie, this brings me uh, this uh, this brings you up in now. Yes, sir. So uh, I'm Sweetie Datta from Siliguri, West Bengal, which comes near Darjeeling. 
so uh, me being uh, uh, closer to fine arts since childhood because bengali people um, it comes in a uh, round that bengal people are more cultural towards fine arts dance singing and all sort of co curricular activities and that's why i was closer to fine arts uh, since i have a diploma degree also in fine arts uh, from vishwabharti so i had to do something uh, with my creative mind so during the corona period actually i was finding uh, all because i had interest towards uh, fashion also i was searching for fashion colleges and then i got into uh, nift initially i get the entrance and all those things happened but then uh, what stopped me from going to nift was uh, during corona period uh, nift was not providing much through online uh, platforms which was quite uh, problematic for fashion students because everything is practical in our world so while on the other hand lpu Uh, came to my mind because my friend um, was there of my school she was in the pharmacy department and she was like sweetie you you will not understand uh, what you can see what she could see there was my class was there from lpu and she could understand even pharmacy is a very critical course and practical things so she could understand everything through my class so i was like i should also try so i went for lpu just because of that corona uh, period which could bring the practicality in front uh, rather than going it in uh, and sitting in your bed and doing classes which was quite critical at that time so after joining uh, uh, lpu one year went like that in online class but i i i'll not lie i understood everything but when i saw my friends from nif not understanding the first year which is the base of our course uh, was very I, i was very proud of that because i understood everything through uh, lpu so like no i i should continue doing it in lpu i am sure if i hard work i'll succeed and that's how i continued doing my hard work in the college and one more point about lpu is the diversity for a fashion student exploring through diversity of different cultures are important because for us if we do not explore we will not understand anything i explored i hard worked and uh, not only 8 uh, hours of class i used to stay there for 12 14 hours during my whole Uh, dc program design collection and i i am I'm, i'm really happy how things went apart from that when i uh, went for placements um lpu gave me opportunity to do internship in new times group also trident also they have put me into um and when i went to trident for one month of internship i developed a project there too for domestic market with leftover yarns and they were really happy how i took the challenge up and uh, kilos of i mean tons of yarns were used there because lpu never brought me into a comfort zone they have always put me into challenge and that challenge made me succeed into the corporate world also so and that's how i succeeded there also and then trident gave me the opportunity to join them and make me a part of them and that's how i was there. Thank you so much for bringing this. Now she has kind of a word where she said that LP has been challenging her in in ever so whichever way it was possible, not putting them into the comfort zone. Let me tell you to the listeners. So it's a very con conscious choice from our side that we will not put students from the same uh, state staying in the hostels. That's a very conscious choice because you no, know, then you learn culture of different places. So the idea is that one should understand uh, what culture brings and how critical that is in making a in making a name for yourself so that's a very very conscious choice thank you so much for bringing this both of you now uh, yashwant if you can talk a little bit more about the coding culture which we promote uh, if you can talk a little bit more about how we have been promoting lot of our students to participate in any of the hackathons or pitchathons or how critically we have been telling you to do lot of problem solving in lead code or code chef or or code boards or 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 hacker earth hacker rank and how these kind of interventions was very very critical in actually unlocking this opportunity for you so if you can talk a little bit more about this yeah sure so when i when i have to talk about this uh, culture of coding i can compare the culture of the culture of culture with coding at lpu i think there is some disturbance at your mic so if you can yeah sure that that might be the plain sound yeah uh, is it clear now sir it is still going on but i think plain is still hovering around Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead. 
okay so when i uh, when i have to talk about this culture of coding at lpu i can compare it something similar to iits that the culture which you can see at iits or nits so you can see you can uh, see a lot of folks your peers uh, practicing coding and you will also feel encouraged when you see them so when you make mix with them so as as uh, that that means sweety said before uh, lpu doesn't bring you to a uh, some specific comfort zone it allows you to uh, mingle with different diversities diversity diversified people so you can follow their culture and their thought process and you can improve yourself inspiring from others and and this is one thing and the other is the faculty the faculty and the staff they support you so much they they always guide you they are always ready uh, they always uh, keep telling you this is my cabin this is you can always come here to, uh, you can always approach them for any doubts this makes uh, students feel comfortable to reach, reach out to them which you can uh, see uh, like in normal colleges or anything that i can assure you you will always be free to approach them and discuss whatever doubts you have post classes even they are always helpful as i said they are very welcoming and this uh, culture of coding when i say this see every week there it keep there uh, there happens an event going on something something happen hackathon let it be hackathon lanathon any uh, uh, event and uh, and what do you say engagement with some uh, industrial folks this really helps helps you in being in being closer to the industrial technologies and will let you let you uh, maintain your focus on the same yeah perfect thank you so much a uh, 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 good answer here i'm i'm sure that students will learn a lot of a uh, uh, lot of things from here that you learn a lot beyond the classes as well drawing a parallel uh, sweety let me bring you in now i'm sure that uh, you must be aware that we send lots and lots of our students to lot of fashion weeks as well where they help um, where they help present their uh, uh, clothes and their imagination in 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 the larger audience as well so if you can talk a little bit more about you talked about design collections so if you can talk a little bit more about how the portfolio was done what was your learning there and how you spend beyond class time so that you were able to uh, put more Uh, uh put more thoughts into your thoughts and then actuate those thoughts in terms of uh, garments and and uh, other designs as well so if you can talk if you can just run through uh, this journey as well yeah definitely so basically uh, since our second year itself we are given projects i mean every different subject consists of different projects so every different subject has different inspirations and that's how we create a garment out of a story so it's not only about my design collection but i also got to perform in chandigarh times fashion week along with delhi times which was my design collection so while i was in my fourth year like uh, seventh semester i got the chance to perform in chandigarh times and then also liba miss diva which held in mumbai for the platform of miss universe india so there also i got to uh, got the chance to design capes of swimwear round and that's how uh exposures of us uh, increased exposures were given to us not only through the classroom but through the platforms when i went mumbai there uh, more than me designing the garment it was the backstage experience which made me uh, like overwhelmed because different celebrity stylists celebrities there are in it it's it's a different of world altogether because classroom is somewhere uh, where we only get to learn the basic things and when we go to the main stage we think we see a lot of more things which are unimaginable somewhere and we when we touch different things that's a whole extra experience there so uh, delhi times was one chandigarh times leva miss diva all these things uh, are the main uh, base of my career i would say Uh, rather than placement, which I uh, which enhanced my career throughout, and the portfolio part, I would say, my entire portfolio doesn't only consist of my design collection or Chandigarh Times or Leva Miss Diva. It it has entire projects which I did overall in my uh, career uh, in LPU itself. Four years of journey, which has almost twelve of projects, even if I count three in each semester, and uh, three in each year. Sorry, but more than that. Uh, my third and fourth year, where I developed a project, uh, 
not only one subject or three subjects, there's more than 10 subjects which we have done. And including that, we get the subjects of uh, enhancement of our portfolio, not only getting the project, but also they help us improving the portfolio that creates more impact in our lives. Thank you, Sweetie. Uh, both of them, uh, listeners, you, they talked about diversity. Uh, and we have been actually celebrating diversity. When I say diversity, uh, we have the honors of having students from all the states and all the union territories in the country, excepting one maybe. And then we've got student representation from about 50 countries of the world. So they read across with our students from uh, various parts of the India as well. Uh, I'm sure that both of you would like to talk a little bit more about One India and One World and the kind of learning you had there and the kind of fun you had there. Yeah, so... As, as Sir uh, mentioned about One India event, this is an event which actually happens every year. So in this event, what actually happens is uh, people from students from all the states represent their culture by showcasing their art and the culture they follow, uh, whether whatever it be, let it be their uh, festivals, like the primary festivals, they celebrate the clothing, the apparels they wear, they display and uh, exhibit and exhibit them and they keep uh, roaming around, around the campus so people keep gathering over there and get to know about the different cultures of uh, from of like you may be aware of like uh, you may be aware of the culture of j just your state or your my state or your nearby states but you can see lpu you as i said like ex uh, expect accepting uh, one, one or two states like uh, you can find students from almost all the states all over the india so you can you will be you can come at, Come aware of all the different cultures that are uh, followed all over the India, and not only India. When uh, you can see, as Sir mentioned, there are students from around fifty countries. So even they do participate in this event and sell, uh, showcase their own culture. And you'll get to know so much about this culture and this diversity, and you'll enjoy a lot. Yes, yeah, sweetie, your your turn now. Would you like to talk a little bit more yeah. about the experience? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was my first time listening about having uh, all different countries and all different states uh, having performed in one particular uh, university campus. I have never heard it before. So my first experience was in Penny Valley One, uh, my second year basically. So when One India came and One World came, uh, I never knew that these things happened. So we got the country of Ethiopia uh, and I really did not know like our entire department had no students of that particular country so that was really another challenge so we need to go find students uh, students of that particular country need to learn cultures google everything youtube and all those things and then we as a belong to fashion department so we had to create garments and that's another thing we developed prints uh, because they work on prints and that was wholesome experience because we got to learn more somehow more than our uh, books and uh, uh, explorations inside the campus because uh, we never thought that we would be working for Ethiopia someday and that's how we uh, enjoyed we, we got to learn about the festivals their occasions what they wear what they eat everything we represented uh, in uh, Baldev Raj uh, sorry uh, Unipolis yeah that was a experience. No up? other university, I think, a bearing a few of them would have a mall inside the university. So, would you like to talk a little bit more about your memories of mall inside the so, university? So whenever I discuss about this mall or something uh, with my colleagues, they used to get surprised. What are you talking like? You're talking about a mall inside a university. How can that happen? Yeah, but don't expect something like uh, too fashion. Like it, uh, the mall in the sense, uh, it, it provides you the access to whatever the basic requirements you need. You don't have to step outside the university. You will get everything in the university itself. It's like a mini city, I can say. It's like a 650 acres campus, and you will, you'll really, really have a lot of fun. I can say, I, I can assure you that. That's for sure. Uh, parallel to your studies. Yeah. Uh, apart from basic needs, I would uh, rather say any refreshment you need, you go to lovely suites. Any uh, formal you need, okay, you cannot go. Go to uni mall, you will find that definitely. You need bowling, you, you can go there. You can refresh there uh, in between your classes. You do not have classes, you can go there. You do not want to go out in this scorching heat. Help you, I mean, Jalandhar and Punjab. Punjab is very hot. Uh, if you do not want to go out to the campus, enjoy everything inside. That's how uh, lovely experience was there inside the campus itself. And, uh, 
not only the mall, there are different areas of FPU which you can refresh yourself to anywhere you want. Correct. So we are very aggressive listeners in terms of how we prepare our students for the job, which is right there once they graduate. So for most of our courses, we send our students to do a one-year internship program. Unheard in this country, we have been practicing uh, practicing this since last couple of years now. And we want the students to work on the recent problems with rub the shoulder with the best of the minds, sitting at the best of the places, solving the best of the problem statements of the today such that they are able to present themselves as a finished product and subsequently a corporate will be able to take more data sets to decide whether to take a full-time portion to them or not. So I want both of you to talk a little bit more about the internship experience you had and how that experience helped you get a full-time opportunity in the companies we are working right now. Yeah, definitely. So when you talk about this internship experience, this... Uh... You, it's internship experience is something like you directly uh, get this hands-on experience on industrial level skills. You directly, um, uh, you're like an employer of a company, right? Internship, intern, uh, you're being an intern in the sense. So you will definitely gain this hands-on experience over the different industrial skills. You will see experience will never go out of waste. And I'll, I'm really thankful for this placement enhancement program where I enhanced myself uh, to get in to get an internship like uh, so see when I, when you com uh, compare this uh, placement journey uh, on campus and off campus it, on, on campus involves only one step off campus involves two steps see the first step is you have to grab the opportunity which in on campus the you know LPU itself will bring you the different companies to uh, towards you so you can directly apply for them and you can give an inter inter in interview Whereas in case of off-campus, there are two steps. First thing, you yourself have to search for the opportunity and you have to prove that you are eligible for that. You crack it. So I'm sure that LPU brings most of the companies which you try to crack off-campus, like uh, your friends uh, try to uh, crack them off-campus through LinkedIn, approaching the uh, employees of the company. But see, uh, this is the major part which LPU brings the opportunity directly towards your hands. You, whatever, uh, what you need to do is you have to put all your three years of experience, what you gained through your classes, beyond classes in the sense, uh, this hackathons, lanathons, which frequently keeps happening in LPU and the placement enhancement classes, uh, which keeps on, which keeps going on every day, uh, every week, every weekend, especially on Saturdays. And when you are in third year of your BTEC, so this will really help you enhance your skills remove your fear of interviews and improve your soft skills which is the most underrated thing yeah these are the things which uh, really helped me crack this interview and get placed at just pay thank you sweetie do you have any such experience yeah definitely uh speaking from my heart now uh let's bring in the challenge now which is in fashion world there is a very less scope of getting placed under a designer uh, not only under designer, it's very hard for a fashion student to find job in different industry level also, which LPU has brought into reality. Even if you go to NIF, only few designers hire, and that too in a very low uh, salary, which is uh, precisely ten thousand per month in the beginning. Not a, not an internship in job based which is very tough for a student after spending four years of uh, her studies to join at a level of 10,000 per month, which is very difficult actually. So I have seen my friends from NIF and other colleges getting paid less and uh, they suffer a lot. But LPU has given me that opportunity where I am earning not 10,000 but one like a month, which is uh, quite shocking for fashion students to get into this level, to be very honest. And uh, talking about internships, internships are the base level of our journey because uh, fashion school inside a classroom and fashion school, uh, fashion department inside an industry is a whole different experience. We learn in classrooms and fashion department and we, we learn how to sell things in our industry. There are two different things. So when I was in internship, I got to learn things. And when I completed my internship, I 
already helped you taught me how to learn things so i learned it and then in industry i learned how to sell so basically i got to learn both of the things to make and to sell so that's how i am here today and having both of my skills so internships uh, which i got from lp in two different companies one already hired me and another one had another experience there that that was my house and that gave me another uh, experience of how to uh, um, convince clients uh, i mean buyers of different uh, countries in different languages so both of them have a different whole experience and then how uh, internship took me to this level is a different experience now yeah thank you thank you for bringing this, uh, this out i always have been saying this to all my students uh, since last 22 years that i have been a teacher too that you will graduate from a college or a university but the university or the college stays with you for all your life so to both of you in any particular order what is one such memory which still brings happiness to your face you think about it and you say oh it was such great an experience so what is one such experience to both of you which still brings happiness to your face there is uh, i can't uh, i can't specify one there are a lot many and let's uh, go with this hackathon experience only like uh, it was this smart india hackathon where uh, we have to uh, crack the internal round first and to get selected to the external round where and that is when uh, during the internal round which usually happens which happens for around 24 hours continuously me with my folks with my peers uh, join uh, who are in, in my team uh we kept uh we enjoyed a lot uh, uh enhancing the project which uh we which we have chosen we had a lot of fun apart, just apart, apart from the apart from this uh developing the developing the project like we used to uh have fun just to, we used to uh, play some jokes in order to stay awake see uh, as i said it's a 24 hour hackathon you should keep continuously and uh, enhancing your project uh, developing your project in order to compete with your other other teams or folks so we used to play jokes a lot a lot and lot and lot just to keep uh, ourselves awake in the middle in between and just keep enhancing the and um, like processing uh, resuming this in order to stay awake like the, there are many kind of many uh, i i can't uh, i just can't say one correct any such experience uh, sweetie for you yes definitely as i said chandigarh time so uh, we got the uh, call from chandigarh uh, i mean times challenge group that we have chandigarh times now and we had only uh, 10 or 12 days and uh, we were learning indian at that time and this semester just started and we had no knowledge of how to stitch an indian wear garment so we had only 8 or 9 days i guess and our faculty team mr firoz khan and he was the one to uh, take up the challenge and he was like no we will do it no matter how we stayed for around 17 or 18 hours per day i guess we were uh, 30 students i mean we were almost 50 students but only 30 slot of garments a day so we out of 24 hours we were i guess i was not sleeping i mean definitely not my sleeping because everybody had to go home 17 18 hours at college is not a small deal so we I mean, I mean, if you could see our blog at that time, we all were running to this room, that room. We had we need to get our stuff from that. One. We, I mean, even if I remember that day, uh, I was not even satisfied with my garment. I mean, that was my first time making it up uh, an Indian wear, and uh, when it was on the stage for the first time in my life, uh, that two in times talent group in Chandigarh. Uh, I was the most proud person that time because uh, I never thought that this day would come within one week I could be stitching it out and then not only stitching it can uh, it consisted of sourcing from Delhi it consisted from dyeing uh, designing the garment making it up and uh, that took all I mean what I thought and what I made was entirely different but at the end what I made was another different uh, part and which was again very nice I would say. not only me everybody uh, but my experience there with that particular faculty which i feel so i cannot say that those one week that particular one week was another experience for me and that still puts happiness on my face when i was i thought because i never thought that a faculty could bring so much 
uh, to students in a week, which uh, one entire semester could not. Good, good. So what is one piece of that advice which you want to give to young listeners who are yet to decide which university, which college, which course, how to start? So one piece of advice which you want to give to all our listeners. Yeah, so if uh, so, the folks who want to join LPU, just don't be don't be doubtful. I'm giving you the assurance. I can assure you, you can pursue your dream for sure. Like uh, I'm from BTEC CSE, you know, I joined LPU. Uh, I joined LPU, and then yeah. So and and. Yeah, so he's saying that, uh, uh, reinforcing what Yashwant is trying to say that we have done this for so, 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 so many students and we are very keen and ex uh, 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 elated and, ex and experienced as well so that we can take your story to the next level altogether. Yeah, so Sweetie, would you have any piece of advice for all of us? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for a student like me who likes to hard work, if you are planning to join a great fashion department because I have experience in here, uh, you need to do hard work in fashion and no college will give you this opportunity of placement to be very precise. Hard work is there in every fashion uh, department, but not placement is there in every department and every different fashion school. So if you want both of them together, you need to come to LP. And when you come to LP, not only placement, not only hard work, you need to you connect with industrial people more than uh, other different fashion schools. That's how my experience went and that's how I am going to uh, give you advice to join LPU if you want to succeed in life throughout, not only through one. Correct. So thank you so much. At this point in time, I would like to thank each one of you. I'm sure that uh, you would have taken a lot of pains to find out this 45 minutes of your time where you could have actually spelled out your success story to the larger world. So at this point in time, let me first thank both of you and to the organizers. Uh, sir, I would like, yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah, please, please. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry for interrupting and for taking the pause. I would like to just tell you one thing. You might be seeing, you might have experiences something like this in your schools or in your colleges, like uh, uh, management pushing you towards your success, like whether for your board exams or anything. But you might not have ever listened something like uh, engineering colleges keep focusing on students' career. But this actually happens here in LPU. That I can assure you, this placement classes and all, they they really really keep trying just to make you place somewhere. Just make just try to set your career. That's that's for sure. That I'm I can assure you. Yeah. Thank you so much for reinforcing what I was just trying to uh, pass on to the larger audience. Uh, we are very, very keen so that we understand what are the best opportunities which we can bring to our students and how we can prepare them really, really well. What data set should we give it to them so that they have a very exhaustive and a very crisp and a, a very story -like telling kind of a resume in front of them so that they can open this conversation with, uh, with the corporate world. So I was just uh, thanking both of you. Uh, I said that uh, it's basically difficult for uh, for anybody who has just joined the job to find out 45 minutes of undivided attention and time to give it to somebody um, old as me. Uh, but then thank you so much for, for doing this for us. Uh, at this point in time, we'll give it back to Tarannum. If anybody has any of the questions, if if, if she would have any questions which, uh, 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 which needs to be answered either through me or to both the superstars, so we can go ahead and do that. So all yours, Tarannum, now. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, it looks like we don't have any questions at the moment. I would like to thank you uh, and the, our voters for this insightful session. Uh, sir, we have discussed a variety of points in this webinar, including an overview of LPU, the diverse culture, placement process, internship opportunities, career support, and the vibrant campus life. Uh, I would like uh, to invite you for the closing remarks for this webinar. Well, thank you so much for doing this for us, Taranam, and thank you both, uh, uh, both the Virtos. So we call all our students to be as Virtos, simply meaning that we want them to be change agents. We don't want to do uh, very experientially different things, but we want to do, uh, uh, them to do a little bit of an iota so that they make a life easier for uh, the entire humankind to stay in this, uh, in this, in in this earth and uh, make a name for themselves. So that's how we have been actually uh, training our students. We have been preparing our students. And I'm sure that they are great ambassadors for uh, us. 
a testimony of which is that uh, year on year, we are able to get 90% repeat of the companies which have been coming to us. It's all because the students like them have performed to the best of their abilities and have learned, grown uh, uh, for themselves and for the company uh, as well. So with this, let me thank uh, whomsoever is listening to us from whichever part of the country or the world you are listening to us. Let me reinforce this yet again to you that uh, we are very, very keen to do this journey making, uh, career making journey with each one of you, sir, that uh, you make name for yourself and for the larger ecosystem. So with this, let me thank everybody who has been listening to us. Special thank to uh, Yashwant and Sweetie for having taken out time and to and for to Taranam for staging this entire uh, entire condition today. Thank you so much. Do good. God bless. Thank you so thank much you, sir. for listening to yes. us. Bye. Thank you, everyone. To all our parents and students, I, ho I hope you found this session as informative, as engaging as I did. Remember, the key to success is staying informed, being adaptable, and continuously learning. Before we close, I'd like to remind everyone that our Division of Admission Cell is always here to support you in your journey towards a successful career. Feel free to reach out to us at admissions at the rate lq.co.in with any questions or further guidance. Thank you all for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.